Hey friends, thanks so much for stopping by. Today, I'm making over and recycling three thrifted DIYs into some rustic farmhouse decor. Now odds are you won't have these exact same pieces, but you can always use some similar items to get the same results. I hope you enjoy them and let's get busy. Getting started, I'm using this old Christmas sign that I picked up at a yard sale for 50 cents. All the accents were kind of broken and falling off, so I just removed them from the sign. When I was done, I did my best to remove most of the glue, and then I removed the hanger. The sign still has some glue residue and a few rough spots, so I'm just using a piece of sandpaper and giving it a quick sanding. Now that I'm done, I'm using my white acrylic paint and I'm giving the front a coat. What I love about this makeover is that you can either stand it up or you can hang it, so I'm going to be hanging mine and that's why I'm not painting the back. Now that my paint is dry, I want to give it more of a rustic look. So using my sandpaper, I'm sanding around the outside edges of the Z, in between the slats and around the outside edges of the sign. To make the flower box on my sign, I'm using one of these wooden crates from the Dollar Tree. I want it to match my sign, so once again, I'm using my white acrylic paint and I'm giving it a coat. Now that the paint has dried, I'm using my pencil and I'm just outlining the two stripes on the front side of the box. You can always paint the stripe in the middle, but I'm using some of this buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I wrapped it around the front and each side and then cut it to size. I then used my glue gun on the front and the sides to attach the ribbon. Now that I'm done, I'm going to attach the two pieces together and I'm using my E6000. I added some to the bottom of the backward Z, attached the box and let it set up overnight. I'm adding the word welcome to my sign and I'm using one of the metal welcome signs from the Dollar Tree. I'm using my black acrylic paint and I'm going to end up giving it two coats but you can always spray it with some spray paint. Once my two coats have dried, and sometimes the paint will scrape off of the metal, so what I like to do is follow it up with a coat of Mod Podge. It only takes a few minutes for it to dry, so I'm turning the word welcome over. And once again, using my E6000, I'm adding some to the back. To attach it, I simply made sure that it was centered on the top part of my sign. So this can actually stand up on its own, but I want mine to hang, so I'm going to be using a piece of this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I turned my sign over, decided about how long I wanted my hanger to be, and then I just cut it to size. I used my hot glue gun and added two dots to the back and then attached the two ends of the rope. To help keep my hanger in place, I'm cutting two short pieces out of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. I then placed some hot glue on the sides of my rope and attached the ribbon over it. With my hanger in place, I'm going to be adding in a piece of the Sahara from the Dollar Tree. Mine's in green, but they also sell this in white. I added some hot glue to the bottom of the box and I attached the Sahara in place. To finish up, and if you've been following any of my videos this year, for some strange reason, I don't know why I've had like a thing for daisies. 
and I had these on hand. You can find them at the Dollar Tree. They sell them in different colors along with some greenery and I'm just adding them to the box. I wasn't super fussy when I was adding them. I trimmed off the ends when needed to make them fit and I just kind of placed them in here and there. Once all my flowers were in place, I then used a piece of wired buffalo check ribbon and I made a simple bow accent. I trimmed off the ends and then using my hot glue gun, I attached the bow to the front of my daisy box. I'm so happy with this makeover. I think it came out so pretty and I love the little rustic element to it. And now that I'm done, it's ready to hang. I wanted to share with you today that I am participating in my monthly friend collab and it's being hosted by my sweet friend Liana from Liana DIY. Our guest host this month is Donna from Creative by Nature DIY and Decor. To check out their amazing channels along with the other talented and crafty women in this collab, be sure to check out the playlist. I'll have it linked below in my description. If you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my videos so far, please consider clicking on that little red subscribe button below and leaving me a big thumbs up. And if you're one of my returning friends, you know I'm always so happy to see you. I picked this set of wooden candle holders up at my local Goodwill. They were $3 and at first, I wasn't even sure if they were candle holders because the holes in the top are so small and they don't seem to be weighted well, like the base is kind of light. So I think if you actually placed candles in them, they had a good chance of falling over. But they are candle holders because I did find some dripping wax on them. To help clean them up a bit, I'm using a piece of sandpaper. I'm removing the wax and any of the imperfections and as I was sanding it, I actually noticed that the top was broken and somebody had glued it back together. To help give the candle base a bit more stability, I cut two blocks out of some scrap wood that I found in my kindling bin. Because the wood is scrap and the edges are kind of rough, I just used my sandpaper to smooth them down. Attaching the blocks to the base of the candles, I'm using my Starbond Thick Glue and it's my go-to glue for all my natural wood projects. It sets up super quick and I use it all the time. And if you'd like to check it out, I have the company linked below along with a coupon code. To attach them both together, I just placed some glue on the bottom of the candle base and placed it on the wooden block. They set up in just about two to three minutes and now using my white acrylic paint, I'm giving them both a complete coat. Where it was repaired on one of the tops, it still shows through the paint, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to end up covering it up. Now that the paint's dry and you can leave them as is, but I wanna give mine a bit more of a rustic appearance, so I'm going to use a piece of sandpaper. I think this step is kind of fun because you really can't mess anything up. I'm gently sanding away the edges on the candle holders and then I'm just kind of rubbing it here and there to give it more of a rustic worn appearance. This step is completely optional. If you like yours to have more of the clean lines, just leave them freshly painted. To make the candle cups for my candle holders, I'm using two of the wide mouth canning jar lids along with two of the wide mouth matching rings. 
I'm using the silver, but you can find them in different colors. I'm attaching the pieces together using my E6000. I turned my rings over and added some glue to the bottom edge. Then placed in the lid silver side up. I let them set up for just about an hour and to attach them to the top of my candle holders, I'm once again using my E6000. I added a generous amount to the top of each and then just placed down the cups. I like to use an LED candle whenever possible and I found these two at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to add on a quick accent using this farmhouse ribbon that I also found at the Dollar Tree. I cut two strips long enough to wrap around each candle and to make a simple bow. When I was done, I turned both of the candles on. I placed them in the candle cups. And now that I'm done, my rustic candle holders are ready to display. To start my recycled wood daisy sign, I'm actually using this piece of wood that I picked up out of the trash. My daughter and I went for a walk and it was sitting on the top and when I looked at it, she thought I was crazy but I said, I think I see a sign. So I popped it in my tote bag and here we are, I'm going to make a sign out of it. It's definitely seen better days, so I'm using a piece of sandpaper and kind of cleaning off any of that loose residue. Now that it's cleaned up, I'm using three flowers off of the stem from this Dollar Tree bunch. After I pulled them off, I then removed the centers. For the stems on my sign, I needed something really thin, so I just went outside and cut three off of a small tree. Mine were brown and I wanted them to be green, so I just used some of my green acrylic paint and I gave them each a coat. Now that they're dry, I'm going to attach both the stems and the flowers to the sign. But before I do, I'm going to dig through my button jar and find three buttons that I can use as centers for the flowers. I also want to add the word grow to my sign, so I'm going to spell it out using these Dollar Tree 3D stickers. I want them all to be yellow, so I'm giving them a coat with my yellow spray paint. Now that they're dry, I'm first going to start by placing my flowers onto the sign. I'm then using my glue gun and attaching the top one into place. And now I'm adding one of the yellow buttons to the center. Now I'm adding my first stem, placing it under the top petal. With that in place, I'm now attaching my two flowers and adding the button centers. With those in place, I'm adding my last two stems and then using my glue gun, I'm attaching the ends under each of the petals. With my stems attached in place, I'm now adding the word grow and I'm placing down the letters to find my spacing. Then just using my glue gun, I'm attaching them to the sign. I'm adding on a bow accent and I'm using some of this farmhouse ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Once I decided how big I wanted it to be, I just made a simple bow. To add my bow, I added some hot glue over the stems and attached it into place. To finish up, I'm using the same farmhouse ribbon, cutting a piece long enough for a hanger and then attaching it with my glue gun. Now that I'm done, this recycled sweet daisy grow sign is ready to hang.
hope you enjoyed making these thrift recycled makeovers with me. And if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. And be sure to check out the playlist and I will see you all very soon. Bye everybody!